Good Things Delmarva with Ashley James. Good morning, I'm Ashley James, and you're watching Good Things Delmarva, a show where we take a look at all the great things happening in your area. And with me now is James Sprinkle, founder of the Sprinkle Foundation. Thank you so much for being with me. Today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, you know, for those of you who don't know what the Sprinkle Foundation is, tell them. Sprinkle Foundation was just started within the last couple of months. It is for diabetes to make uh, awareness for people uh, what goes on with a diabetic, how to recognize a diabetic, and what to do for a diabetic in situations where their sugars go low. Now, why did you <coughs> start it, and how did, how did it start? I started uh, the Diabetic Foundation because I'm a diabetic for 42 years. Um, most people look at me and say, hey, he looks great. Well, diabetes affects the internal part of the body, the heart, the eyes, the kidneys, and even the brain now, especially when you have low bro blood sugars, the brain's not getting oxygen, and it shuts down, and then you go into seizures. The reason for the foundation to be started was <clears throat> basically for myself to move to the next step was to get a special license plate developed for diabetics. I've been pulled over, uh, un uh, police unaware of my conditions, and obviously I understand where they're coming from. They think I'm intoxicated, and I'm not. And uh, I spent time in, in jail, uh, unfortunately, to wake up uh, in a hospital with a blood sugar of 10, which r realistically means I should have been dead. Wow. And I think when people hear of diabetes and think of diabetes, they don't understand that there's other parts to it that you could be driving behind the wheel. And so just tell us some of the symptoms that you could have while driving and that people might not be aware of. Well, the symptoms are you really start to perspire. Well, that's the first symptom I realize. Uh, the, after that, it goes down extremely, extremely quickly. Uh, realistically, you really do not have time to start thinking what to do. Uh, I even carry sugar tablets right next to me at all times, at, even on me. But when the brain does not get sugar, which it needs to survive and function properly, it can't think to get the sugar tablets. Many times, even at my own house, I would walk around the refrigerator time after time after time trying to figure out why am I walking around that refrigerator when I'm trying to get a glass of milk. And then I pass out. It happens that fast. That, wow. That's why I want the awareness. And so it can happen when you're behind the wheel. Now, with these license plates, what is the process that you have to go through to get this done? I have to come up with 200 applications, and it has to be diabetic applications. It doesn't mean that I can come to you and ask you to sign an application. You must be a diabetic, and there's a $10 fee, and I must have 200 of them to take it to Dover and th have them work with me to develop a license plate. And the reason for the license plate is not, a, not everybody is educated on the symptoms and what you should do for a diabetic. Uh, when, you, when you would see the license plate, you would, it, you would key off right away that he's a diabetic. Uh, I know what to do. I need to call a paramedic. Some diabetics are funny. Some are very aggressive, some are passive, uh, that we're all different. So you, you really need to know how to handle them and keep them calm. Once you get them emotional and going, it's, it could be pretty bad. So is there different levels? I mean, because some, some people have diabetes and do they, are you all like that? No, there's two types of diabetics. Uh, type one, which used to be called the juvenile diabetes and type 2, um, which is for people that are obese and later in life were to develop that. Uh, they're not nearly as bad as the type 1. They're not on insulin. Most of the time, they're on me uh, pills, medicine, and we all have to watch what we eat, which includes right. the carbohydrates. So other than the license plates that you were trying to get, you're also giving out these bracelets. Bracelets, yes. You can see here. And how can people get how can people get these? Well, we have a um, web page on Facebook called the Sprinkle Foundation, and it will tell you exactly how to go about getting them. Uh, you can call direct. We'll be glad to send them out. I've sent them, actually, I've sent them out all over to everybody. 
and uh, we do charge uh, two dollars. It's a donation. It goes into the foundation. I think that's fair for this lovely yes, I, bracelet. I hope so. <laughs> it's our first step to get where to where we want to be. We're trying to get some big name people involved to help me out in, in, on the board and the organization, and hopefully we can uh, join another big foundation soon. Well, this is really, so it's a growing foundation that you have right now. How can people get involved and help you? Well, they can give me a call, um, which I, I would, I am seeking, believe it or not, two young uh, people, boys or girls, uh, that have diabetes uh, to be part of the organization. I want to hear their thoughts because back when I had it, there wasn't anything there for me to go on. Today, there is. Right. Well, thank you so much, and your information will be up on the screen, so feel free to contact you more about the foundation. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And we'll be right back. You're watching Good Things Delmarva.